We are tracking a storm in your forecast, but this is not your typical storm. Not at all. We're talking about a solar storm, and this is one of the most severe we've seen in decades. So DTE is getting ready. In a statement, they tell us, quote, DTE is pausing non-essential maintenance and testing activities, and our operators, both distribution and plant, are closely monitoring equipment and communication systems to ensure the reliability of the electric system. Next weather meteorologist Ahmed Badji is here with us. He's been following this one, of course, for us with a look at how this solar storm could have an impact on our power. Yeah, and be warned, there's a little bit of science here that's involved, so bear with me. This gets tricky in spots. We've already, at this moment, reached what's called a G4 level storm. That is happening at this moment. A lot of the cameras in Europe have all gone pink because that's the color of the aurora that they see. It's not the normal green, and it's actually quite bright. So let's give you a background. Why is this a thing? Well, you may or may not know that around the Earth we have two separate magnetic fields. That's important for us to know. It acts as a shield against all of that radiation that comes off the sun each and every day. The solar wind sends particles, protons and electrons, out from the sun toward us. When those hit the magnetic field, that is where you get these beautiful colors because as they move around it, we have these two weak points, one at the north and one at the south pole. That is why you get the auroras at the top and at the bottom of the Earth simply because those are the weakest points. When that occurs, all those little charged particles move through the atmosphere and cause different colors, depending on what type of gas they're moving through in the atmosphere. If it's nitrogen, they're a little light pink. If it's mainly green, it's all the oxygen in the air. We see that a lot more often. Blue, you actually get more nitrogen higher up in the atmosphere, but bright red those very strong charged particles much higher in the air for that oxygen. The thing for today is that this is a very strong storm system. That actually puts us right here at what's called the severe level, and that is what's actually being read at this moment. It is an active G4 level storm. That puts the viewing line almost all the way down to Mobile, Alabama in the middle of the night. Now we have got clouds for tonight, unfortunately, so something we'll have to watch for, but we have some clearing that takes place going toward the middle of it. We may very well get a chance to see a wild, wild view going on into the night with the numbers that we have that are active in Europe at this moment. So stick with us. We're going to keep an eye out for that. And we'll break down a little more of why this is important for you coming up in a minute. Crazy start to the weekend. Yeah, yeah. it's interesting. Thanks, Ahmed.